nicer to say hello. In fact, it is a happy day for all of us here in San Rios. Zamana, I want you to meet Dr. Claire Ramsey. Uh, your assistant's in the United States, correct? You got it. She saved me from the dreaming death. Oh, then I am all the more honored. It is very rare indeed to meet someone so beautiful who is also so prudent. Oh, Zamana. Yes, Zamana. Oh. Oh, it's, it's very nice to meet you. Jim, he told me all about you and, and the Ikateos. I, I'm, I'm just so, so embarrassed. Oh, do, like do not I'm worry. I'm so embarrassed. Do not worry, Dr. Ramsey. It is not unusual for someone so delicate to be overcome by the heat of the sun. Oh. <laughs> My friends, I would like to introduce you to the president of San Rios. Senor and his lovely wife, Senor Eduardo Cortez, and Alicia, his first lady. Yes. Senor Presidente. Senora. That's the young Gran Ano Conocelero. El pueblo de San Rios le da la bienvenida. Gracias por invitarnos aquí otra vez. Usted es muy amable. Es un placer conocerlo, señor el presidente. Esta es la señorita quien es la doctora Claire Ramp. Espero que no le haya asustado nuestra bienvenida. Uh, no, realmente, yo me gusta mucho a uh, tu pies. Sí, gracias, yo creo. <laughs> yeah, that was close. She said he had nice feet. You're going to get us killed, right? Uh -huh. Es uh, muy simpática, como no. Es uh, la lengua y el color. Es muy difícil para el uh, Antandro. <laughs> No, really, it's, it's muy bien, um, really. No, yo comprendo, no se preocupe. La fiesta del color comienza en una hora. Muy bien, señor presidente. Uh, los permos con mucho gusto. What did he say? He what? said the award ceremonies will happen in one hour. Be there. One hour. Uh -huh. Come on. Well, you know, I could have taken Spanish in school, but no, no, no. I decided to take French so I can order in restaurants. Here, you... take this libro. Until you memorize every word in there, keep your mouth shut. Oh. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, what the hell's going on here? I thought you were going to try and work things out. I thought you were going to be a good husband. What happened? I've tried. Believe me, I have tried. Oh, well, well then what's wrong? Oh, you got problems. Look, I know you got problems. Everybody in the whole house knows you and Mindy got problems. But let me tell you something. Ain't nothing gonna be accomplished by running away. Now, why don't you just march back on upstairs there, try and work things out, show her that you're willing to try to work things out, show her that you care. I have tried to show Mindy that I care about her. I have tried to work things out with her. It's no use, and I'm sick of it. Oh, you oh, hear me? Oh, 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 oh. Now, now, just calm down. Phil, calm down now, just a second, hold on. Sick of it! Ho, ho, now, just don't go loco on me, boy. Ho, ho. Just, just talk to me now. There's no point talking about it. Talking about it is not the answer. Mindy and I spent the whole night down here trying to talk about it, and you can see how far we got. Would you look at me? I'm miserable. So is she. Your daughter is miserable. This has got to stop. She can't go on. This is... Look, you may not realize this, but I care an awful lot about your daughter. I really do. I want Mindy to be happy. I want me to be happy. There's only one way we're going to be able to do that. We've got to let each other go. Uh, oh, 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 let go now, which is what you mean by let go. Let's just get a divorce. A divorce? Yeah. Mr. Lewis, there's no reason for Mindy to stay married to me anymore. Well, because you're not having a baby anymore. No, not just because we're not having a baby. We don't have any love between us. We love other people. Doesn't it make a lot more sense for us to just try to get back to those other people before it's too late? 
By those other people, you mean the uh, Reigns girl and uh, Rick? Yes. Look, I don't know if you know this. I don't know what she's told you, but she is still very much in love with Rick. And she belongs with Rick, whether she's willing to admit it or not. It just don't pay to get up some mornings. Look, I'm, I'm gonna level with you, Phil. I, and it's hard for me to admit, but, uh... I have been thinking along these exact same lines for the last couple of days, and it almost breaks my heart. Did you tell Mindy about the divorce? Yeah, I did. She, uh... Damn! She just told me to forget about it. She says she's not letting me go. All right. I will... I'll talk to her. Oh, Mr. Lewis, I would appreciate that. I really would, because I, I, I have no idea how to approach her anymore. I know, Mindy's tough. Look, Philip, just, just do me one favor. Don't, don't walk out on Mindy, because she'd just die if you did. Mr. Lewis, I don't have any intention of doing that. Mindy and I have been through too much together just to cut things off like that. And I, she's a good friend of mine, and I care about her a lot. I just want to come to some kind of understanding. You will. You will. Trust me, I'll, uh, I'll see to it. Oops, looks like you're early. Good, gives me a chance to pull myself together. Oh, honey. Uh. There. <clears throat> I wish you didn't have to come into work today. You didn't sleep at all last night. No, this meeting's too important to miss. There's bound to be discussion on the new administrator to replace Warren, and this time I want to be in on the decision. Well, I don't know why you can't ask the board to postpone the meeting. You're not going to be able to concentrate on it anyway if you mind on Bert. How'd you see him do this morning? Weak. And I think she's still very weak from the operation. But honey, you know Bert. She's not going to let this get her down. She's going to pull through. No thanks to her son, the doctor. Now, Ed, don't you dare blame yourself for this. Oh, for God's sake, Maureen, I'm a doctor! I'm a surgeon. I'm supposed to recognize those symptoms. I mean, all I had to do was pay a little attention to her, and I could have gotten her to her specialist one before it was too late. But thanks to my carelessness, my self-involvement, my mother lost her leg. You are not responsible for this. Bert would never hold you responsible. Oh, Dr. Bauer, Mrs. Bauer. I didn't expect you to be here so early. I thought I'd be the first to arrive. I, I just had to do some organizing before the meeting. Oh, well, that's very admirable of you, Doctor. I thought you'd be in with your mother this morning. How is she, by the way? She's fine. Thanks. Ed, how you doing? Oh, <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. All right. Hi. Nice Hi. to see you. Hi. Yes, yes, Mrs. Green. Hi. Well, I'm glad to see that uh, everyone is on time this morning. So if I may have your attention, I'd like to call the meeting of the board to order. Listen, honey, you think you're going to be okay now? Yeah. All right, then I'm going to go see Bert. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, uh, Mrs. Bauer? Uh, I wonder if you could stay and, and join us. Uh, there's some important business I'm sure you'll be interested in. <laughs> 